Cameron Chai bring you another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to Stefan Venker from Cruise and he's going to tell us about their DR6000 digital refractometer. Yeah, hi. Uh, this is uh, our DR6000 refractometer. It's part of uh, our refractometer range. We have also small handheld refractometers. Uh, the benchtop model DR6000 you can have in different uh, accuracies with so uh, five digits in the refractive index or four digits also. Um, measurement is very easy to uh, use. You need only a sample here, a drop, uh, push here and the measurement will start automatically. All the settings you do with uh, on the touch screen, uh, you have uh, different modes right, what you can uh, configure with interval measurements and uh, single measurements. You can give information uh, to a measurement directly on the screen, that's possible. Uh, we have also a storage of the last uh, 999 results. These results you can choose and export in an Excel file directly to, to a USB stick. Uh, also, it's possible to make a connection to PC uh, via Ethernet. And you can have a small software for it that can communicate with the instrument and makes it very easy to get the data directly on a PC. Also, we have a user management with different rights, uh, with an administration and also with users. The administrator can configure the instrument, uh, the user can use everything, but he cannot change something. Uh, in the system, we have uh, the settings for language, for the date, uh, we have different languages, uh, English, German, French, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. The calibration is here, this is a, the, the tear, it's very easy to use with uh, calibration liquid or with water. Uh, a firmware update is possible, you can do it with a USB stick, put directly in the instrument and you can put the new software on it. And a special function we have is here, this is a cruise remote control. Um, if the instrument has a problem, we can connect with the instrument via internet and take a look on the instrument, what's happened, what's wrong, and we can repair it. And you see, it's very easy to use with a touchscreen. Uh, also, it's an on-screen help. If you need a little bit help, you can find here. It's written as a short uh, manual, so if you don't find your printed manual, you have here a little bit help. All right, Stefan, what, what range does it measure? What's its, its refractive index range of measurement? Uh, we have two different ranges. We have a range from uh, 1.32 up to 1.58 and 1.7 is the other uh, range of uh, the instruments. So that covers the refractive index of most 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 liquids, does it? Uh, the most liquids are inside 1.58. That's normally no problem. We have also uh, you can have other scales included. Is of course the Briggs scale. The Briggs is from zero up to 95. Briggs uh, means sugar and water. Uh, that's very often used in the food industry and in the beverage industry, and uh, therefore is, is uh, also included. Uh, uh, the BRICS scale. Okay, and, and who typically uses such an instrument? Oh, that's a wide range of uh, users. Uh, one field is the food uh, industry or the, the beverage industry. You can measure marmalade or uh, soft drinks like, like cola. Or, uh, you can measure um, solvents uh, in, the in the chemical industry. The purity of, of, of liquids, that's, that's also possible. Yeah, it's a, it's a big field. So people can use it for quality control applications? Yeah, of course, you can, can, uh, can use it for the control of the applications. Uh, for, uh, it's also possible to, 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 to check online with this instrument, it's another instrument, so that you can put directly in the production line some, uh, some information. All right, Stefan, if anybody wants more information about the DR6000 or indeed any of your other refractometers, they can go to your website. Yes, you can go on our website. Our website is www.cruise.com.
Kruis, K R U E S dot com. All right, Stefan, thanks very much for taking some time to tell us about the DR6000. Yeah, thank you.